Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are talking about how to get free crystals fast. Some of these tips will still apply if you're a little bit later on into the game, but of course the later you are into the game, the less access you have to quick, fast crystals. So without further ado, we're going to hop straight into the first method. This is actually going to be the main method for most people for actually quite a long time. Maybe their first month they will still be benefiting from this method, unless they go super hardcore for it. So yeah, we're in the codex right now. We can take a look at uh, all the SSRs here, but most importantly are the SRs, Rs, and Monsters. So if we go into the Monsters list here, you can see some of these guys have this little symbol here. That means I have leveled them up to max level, and for that you get three crystals for a three star monster for a two star monster you get two crystals and for a one star monster you get one crystal you don't get any crystals for gold mon xp mon or luna there or the evolve mon we have 152 monsters in the game 47 of them are not crystallable which means 105 of them are and since each monster comes with a one two and three star form that that means we can say an average of two crystals per monster meaning just from completing the monsters you'll get 210 crystals there which isn't a huge chunk of crystals but on the other hand monsters are extremely easy to get and raise to max level because they are just one two and three stars they require very little experience they're also farmable you can go in their respective location go run a stage pick one up level it up even evolve it to the next star level if you don't want to go into the different difficulties etc etc so that's very easy next we're looking on to rare heroes and this is probably going to be the biggest profitability uh, this is going to be the best actually in terms of ease of access and crystals gained. So there are a total of 156 rare heroes. All of them can be crystalled and all of them go from 4 to 6 star. So they all can start at 4 or 5 star and go to 6 star. Maxing out the level of a 4 star hero gives you 6 crystals. Maxing out the level of a 5 star hero gives you 8 crystals. And maxing out the level of a 6 star gives you 10 crystals. And since they all go from 4 to 6 star, we can say the average is 5 star. So we'll just take 8 times 156 and we'll know that if you get and max out all the different star versions for each hero, you'll get 1,248 crystals for that. Again, these are much easier to obtain, uh, mainly because of the Evo dungeon, we can do five times for free daily, minus the stamina cost, and you'll get some of those drops there. Also, you'll be getting mostly rares from any special summons you do. Super rares, on the other hand, are a little bit harder to obtain because they're super rare, and the main way you're gonna be getting those is from gacha pulls alongside uh, the rares. Crystals wise, they're exactly the same as the rares. They can be four or five, six star, and you'll get six, eight, 10 crystals for them. But of course, since there are only 105, you're only gonna be getting about 840 crystals once you totally complete the codex there. Now, I'm not even gonna go over SSRs. They're again, the same as SRs, but they're obviously extremely hard to get. You can get one free per week from the daily login. Uh, and basically besides that, it's just gacha. So yeah, just from the codex and uh, maxing out their levels, there's well over 2000 free crystals there. Uh, it's not, it's obviously not gonna be fast to get all 2000 of those crystals, but if you need like an extra two, four, 600, uh, to get those final pulls in for a special banner or so, then it definitely is possible. If you're going for the rares and super rares, you need to probably be farming in story mode to get some XP to raise them. Uh, or just make sure you're doing your special dungeon events uh, for the XP. On Friday and Saturday, it's very, very good to farm XP and do this method because we get access to three on Friday and two XP dungeons on Saturday. So whenever you're looking at, at your hero box, um, just look at the little icon above their head. If they don't have it, try not to use them for evolving. Um, I, I've done this already a lot. I don't consider it a mistake because I knew exactly what I was doing. Um, it's just that at that point in my game, I didn't have a lot of excess level up material because I was focused on my main team and not just focused on getting crystals, but it really depends on what your priority is. Of course, if you want to get like at least a team of five to start doing a little bit better in arena, then focus on that, of course. But if you really need those last crystals for a limited time event, then of course go ahead and spend your XP materials on raising these guys, you know, even getting them to six star to get the crystals there as well. But yeah, that is the first and main method beginners are going to be using to get free crystals quickly. Of course, just going through the chapters will get you a ton of crystals as well. Um, it's kind of hard to see now because I've already cleared everything, but as far as I remember, it was between 
three and four crystals per stage and that's per difficulty so if we just say like three crystals per stage i know this might be a little bit of a low estimate there are 330 stages as you can see from the star collection list that's pretty easy math there uh, 990 stars each place has three stars that means there are 330 different stages total across all the different difficulties so that's around a thousand crystals just from completing story and i remember i think it was on chapter one or two on easy mode where you just straight get a hundred so i'm sure since there are some stages like boss stages that give you four instead of three it's well over a thousand once you complete all the story mode so going for story mode using the xp mons on raising the monsters you farm there to max level will let you start accumulating quite a lot of crystals besides that we have achievements in the challenges tab, these are one-off things, so I'm not really going to go over them, and most of them are kind of uh, huge for the amount of crystals you gain from them. They're not really repeatable, so uh, yeah. But daily is repeatable every day, obviously. There is always 10 crystals here. Every single day you complete all your daily missions, so make sure to do that. In weekly, we have 10 more crystals for completing all weekly missions. In monthly, we have 50 for completing all monthly missions. Sadly, that is only once a month. And in event, we actually are getting 15 per day. Uh, from the event so there will always be different event stuff like last week I believe it was winning an arena three times and you get five here we get five for clearing the new hash spiel multi dungeon and uh, down here I've already completed two of them but we got five for doing the evo dungeon and then five for the gold dungeon which you really should be doing every day anyway so pretty much at the very minimum you should be getting 25 crystals daily guaranteed including the weekly crystals in there granted you do all of your weekly quests that comes out to about 185 crystals a week just from the daily quests and about 790 per month or every four weeks when you include the monthly uh, crystals there. This is just from achievements. So there are other little places you can get them. Another big one is gonna be uh, PVP actually, uh, depending on your ranking. The week actually just reset and, I, and I've only done like three battles uh, this week. But as you can see last week, we did make it to grand and for getting to grand, you get 240 crystals so that's an extra 240 crystals per week uh, if you can make it there I would say trying to get up to at least whatever this is called I think it's challenger or so at 6620 would be good of course for beginners I think that's a little bit too much to ask it's just if you can see from the trend here uh, you need very little points to climb up at the beginning you know 41 to 43 to 45 to 51 it gets a little bit more each time uh, 55 to 58 to 6,000 and then as you can start seeing once you hit 100 it starts going up by 20 per rank 20 crystals and you still don't need that many points to climb uh, until you start getting into this area 66 to 72 to 8,000 going like 800 up there and then a thousand a thousand and so for that the arena grind might not be worth just an extra 20 crystals but I think around this area is perfect for the uh, effort to crystal ratio. So if you can manage to say get to 66 20 points uh, You get an extra 200 per week bumping the total monthly crystals up to 1590 which is quite good because along with any other You know event sort of stuff going on where they're like giving you a bit of crystals here and there I'm sure you could bump that up to around 2000 giving you a nice solid chance to do a 10 times 10 pull uh, For one of these special banners where you're guaranteed the hero <laughs> And this is after you've depleted all of the free fast crystals from story mode, from raising all the heroes. So I think they are somewhat generous with the amount of ways you can get crystals, especially in the beginning. Of course, it does taper off a little bit, but uh, this is still a pretty new game. So hopefully, you know, we won't have to invest so much into stamina. Um, I've already purchased quite a few stamina potions. Uh, because I've been using them. So you kind of also have to take that into consideration. I did decide not to pull at all for these uh, newest banners and 90% of the reason was because I don't have enough resources to go around and I still have like two or three heroes to focus on and now that all that free early game stuff is out of the way it, everything takes a little bit longer of course. Second reason was Rebecca is in this banner and Ruby is in this banner and while Ruby is a very good one I have her already and I didn't really want to get another one. Also I've since gotten Ramu so that, that banner was uninteresting. I still think Jacqueline's a pretty interesting character all around and uh Edwin, but Rebecca's in there and Abel. I don't want either of those, so yeah. So with all that being said, I do have to mention the monthly crystal package. I know this is a video about free crystals, but unless you are so against spending five bucks, you should definitely get it. This is by far the most valuable monthly card I've ever seen 
in my time of playing mobile games. 800 crystals for $5. This is four 10 times gacha pulls. Which other game gives you four 10 times gacha pulls for five bucks? I mean, even this is ridiculous when you go to buy straight crystals. 940 costs $80, okay? So it's a bit more than 800, but the price, okay? So um, I know it takes like 25 days for the whole monthly card to come through, but if you're gonna buy anything, you're probably gonna be playing for at least 25 days anyway. That's just, you know, so uh, you can see the whole sort of list here. I've gotten up to day 14, 800 crystals passively for five bucks over the course of 25 days. It's, it's, it's just great. And I just had to mention it. Maybe I'll make a separate video going into the shop saying what's good value, what's bad value, because I have definitely a much better idea about everything in the shop than I did when I first made my first impressions of it. Because when I make my first impressions, I always go into the shop and check out what's going on there. But most of the I have no idea what all that crap is, so it's like, uh, whatever. But I did notice, even on my first day, how amazing the monthly pack was. Also, again, this is kind of a one-off thing, but the missions from going through the story uh, will grant you some crystals here and there as well. They are a little bit scarce, but I think they become more common later on. Here are 10, here are 10. They also do throw out some crystals, like in this uh, celebration seven-day check-in, we got 200 here. <laughs> But yeah, I think that pretty much covers it outside of any future events where we might have a chance to get more crystals. If you have any of your own tips, maybe something I didn't think about involving some weird strategy, then make sure to leave that down in the comments below. Leaving a like if you did happen to enjoy would also be greatly appreciated. Subscribing, turning on bell notifications, I still don't know what that actually does, but uh, apparently it, it's important for YouTubers to say this, so I'm saying it. Thanks guys, as always for watching, and until next time.